Policy Group. We will be covering carpentry. Some of the questions asked on the MEC exam will be on the area of carpentry, which means 11 of the 100 questions will be concepts of cabinetry, count doors, suspended ceilings, and wall -cutting. following tasks that come directly out of the MEC test preparation manual. The countertops and workbench, how to test, the jointing methods, types, the use of tape measure and fractional math, basic materials, carpet terms, and equipment. This is to understand is standard height of countertops and workbenches. Know the code and three best practices are listed here because the method test is an wide. When we're in area, I'll ensure that you are reviewing your local and sta state standards prior to getting any project. An example of a section from the Americans with Disabilities Act, Accessibility Guidelines, is in, in the orange box. The next is on how doors are sized. Doors according to the occupancy type of the space and the activities that will be taking place in the space. And patient rooms. Rooms are now designed with oversized doors, multi-leaf door systems that allow for bariatric and imaging equipment to easily pass through the opening. Performing or receiving measurements of doors one should state the width first, height and the thickness as shown on the slide. Final note on doors is that fittings are typically found on the hinge side or top of the door and should be legible at all times. Continuous hinges or paint should block the label from view. We are to do wood pointing methods. The joiner technique in which two members are joined by simply butting them together. The butt is a simple joint to make since it involves cutting the members to the appropriate length and butt together. It's also, also weakest because unless some form of reinforcement is used, it relies upon glue alone to hold together. When you have option, try your mitered butt joint. It will not be any shorter than a standard butt joint, but you will need the end grains. At joint point, the most important aspect of creating a miter butt joint is signals precisely. For this, you'll need a compound miter saw, which is reviewed in the equipment area later in the presentation. The first step is to, is to determine the final angle of the joint and divide that number by two. As example, for square connection, or 90 degrees, you'll need to make a four-angle cut on each of the two boards to be joined. If the stock are exactly the same width, the chins should match up perfectly. Mitered butt joints, when clear joints of angles, for example, if you're in an octagonally shaped picture frame, the eight angles would 45 degrees, rather than the 90 degrees in the previous example. And would cut two and one half degree angles on each end to create the butt joints. In fitting, a loin is a te technique of running two pieces of material together by overlapping them. A lap, a flap, or a flap. In a flap, no material is removed from either of the members to be joined. Result point which is to be combined, which is the two members. Joint meant to remove from each of the members so that the resulting joint is the thickness of the thickest member. Most commonly in lab joints, the member of the same thickness and the thickness of each is removed. A joint which requires glue, the tongue joint, is widely used for retrench angles. Of wood rankage is concealed when the joint is beaded or otherwise molded. Expensive cat work, glue, 
and multiple tongue and groove are often used. Tongue is fitting similar objects together, edge to edge, and is mainly with wood flooring, parquetry, paneling, and some instructions. Tongue joints allow two flat pieces to be joined strongly together to make a single flat surface. The Morgan joint has been used for thousands of years by woodworkers around the world to join pieces of wood, mainly when the adjoining pieces connect at an angle of 90 degrees. In form, it is both simple and strong. For many joint variations, the basic mortise and tenon comprise of two components. The mole and the tenon. The tenon from the end of a member, generally refer referred to as a rail, is inserted into a square or rectangular hole cut into the corresponding member. The tenon fit the mortise hole exactly, and you have shoulders that seat when the joint fully enters the mortise hole. It can be glued, tamped, or edged to place. This is with other materials. For it is a traditional method for stonemasons and blacksmiths. Woodworking joints, such as edged joints, miter joints, joints, and corners, there is a better choice than biscuit joints. Partly cut biscuit joints are strong and accurate, partly when cut a woodworking tool called a biscuit joiner or a joiner. A Oval piece of compressed wood shavings, typically made from beech wood. The slots precisely cut by the biscuit cutter. The motion of the glue causes the biscuit to swell and tighten the joint. Biscuit came in three sizes. A number which is inch to one quarter inch, which is three quarters inch to two and eight inch. And an inch, three eighths inch. The should have the ability to precisely cut all three sizes. Pocket hole or screw joinery is drilling a hole at an angle, usually 15 degrees, into one work piece and then get to a second work piece with a tapping screw. Because an internal clamp to joint together, glue is unnecessary, but usually recommended for most common joints. It is clamp not required because of the internal clamps holding the joint together while the glue dries. This method requires only one hole to be drilled, eliminating the need to line up mating work pieces, as is required with dowel and mortise and tendon joints. Complex mathematics or measurements such as those used in mortise and tenon joints. And because hole joinery doesn't require access to the inside of the joint, quick are possible without completely disassembling the joint. Fixing or seeing furniture requires only the drilling of additional pocket holes and the use of screws to pull the two pieces together. A lot or trench cut into the surface of a piece of machinable material Usually wood. When view section, a dado has three sides. A dado cut across or per to the grain and is thus differentiated from a groove which is cut with or parallel to the grain. A dado involves cuts which run between both edges of the surface and both ends open. A nine dado ends for one or both of the cuts meets the end of the surface. Dados to a fix to a bookcase and combine a rabbit on an adjoining piece, they are used to make the rabbit and dado joint, sometimes used in case goods. Or groove cut into the edge of a piece of machinable material, usually wood. In cross section, a rabbit is two sided and open to the edge or end of the surface into which it is cut. And the use of rabbit is in a glazing bar where it makes provision for the insertion of the pane of glass and putty. It accommodates the edge of the back panel of the cabinet. It is used to form a joint with another piece of wood containing a dado. 
point is a technique most commonly used in woodworking joinery, including furniture, caps, log bits, and traditional timber framing. No difference to being part the joint is commonly used to join the sides of a drawer to the front. Pins cut down from the end of one board lock with a series of tails cut into the end of another board. The pin tails have a trap shape and a wooden dovetail joint requires no mechanical fasteners. For this, please see the websites referenced on this slide. Next, we will discuss the various types of hinges. One is the butt joint, butt, which is at the gym side and the door side, and can be a pin. Door be me simply pulling the pin. In. Hinge is becoming more common in healthcare today because of durability and resistance to normal wear and tear. Doors hinges are removed by removing the fasteners on side of the hinge. At the top and bottom of the door and are commonly found on glass doors. Conceal is aesthetic appeal because users cannot visibly see the hinge or is closed. These can be used on cabinet doors. We will just the use of tapers and fractional mass, which is when measuring with the tape measure. Tape found with the up with either 16 or 32 parts. One line is therefore read as 1 16th or 1 32nd. Those are the marks on the tape. Those split in the middle with hash marks. And inch marks are typically the same length, slightly larger than the 16th inch marker. Those down to one second of an inch are conventionally the smallest markings that will be seen on a tape. Place the end of the tape at one end of to be measured, and then mark the spot on the tape at the far end of the object. Reverse, then turn the points precisely located by the fraction. And says, you'll need to know how to add fractions with unlocked denominators. One, you can see there are three basic steps to add fractions with common denominators. First, very bottom numbers or the denominators of the fraction are the same. Second, add numbers and put the, the same denominator as seen in step two of the slide. Slide. Finally, set the fraction as in step three of slide. For fractions that have uncommon denominators, first make the denominators the same by multiplying both the top, which is the denominator, and the bottom, which is the denominator, by the will cause the denominators to be equal, as shown in step one of the slide. Pizza is used as an example. Add number to over the same denominator as step two of the slide. Now, and option you. Fractional math. You can Khan Academy dot org or fun dot com. The next we'll cover is basic construction materials. Or studs, and drywall is then attached to the studs with fasteners. Horizontally, provide benefits like concealing joints and consistencies in the stud arrangement. Taped, I help conceal them, and drywall mud is applied to provide a textural final finish on the drywall. Primer and paint is applied to give the wall its aesthetic final finish. Fast multitude of options 
options including angles, toggles, screwers, threaded fasteners, and there are many specialized fasteners that you may want to familiarize yourself with before test. For fasteners, please see the website sites rest on the link speed site. Understanding language of carpentry can help be successful on the MEC exam. This provides basic carpentry terms that are common to the industry. Arch design to support its weight and the load above it, aided by the drawing on the slide. An area is a recessed area below grade to allow for light and ventilation into a basement window. Angles are a position of roof shingles made from asphalt impregnated felt covered with manuals. An angle is an interior molding attached to one of a pair of doors or window sash in order to prevent swinging through. It is also used with sliding doors to ensure fitting where doors meet. Art within a building. On a there is an out window hinged at the top of the dash. Fill is used to fill in areas around a foundation. Balusters both, re both refer to stairways, and a baluster is a small vertical support for the railing of the stairs. Anister is a handrail with supporting posts on a stairway. Ventilation designed to be placed between framing members and can on the slide. A bundle member, usually ported on each end by columns or posts, used to carry load across a door, window, or other similar opening. A bear provides a support for a structural member. And all is it which supports a vertical load in addition to its own weight. A bench to mark on some permanent object fixed ground from which measurements and elevations are taken. A container for storing water, such as that collected from a rainwater harvesting system, is an exterior trim of a structure where the roof and walls meet. The weight of a permanent and stationary structure including a building, and given the slide to you can also see the footings. They are the lower end of a wall, pier or column, to distribute the load into the ground, and can by the thatched rectangulars at the bottom of the house. Frame of the structure of a house, a similar structure, strongly made up of studs, beams, ladders, rafters, purlins, and trusses. Or stability building, Restructuring of buildings that mend impacts of the environment while helping to keep occupants healthy. Or also as a, as a road drill, provoke rapid hammering action to drill through relatively brittle material like concrete, providing quicker drilling with less effort. Here, indicate drawing on the screen is a beam that is used above a door or window. A series of parallel framing members used to support floors and ceilings. The strip attached to vertical framing or foundations used to support joists or other horizontal framings. Is the way of all moving and variable loads that may be placed upon a building, as it did on the slide. It is an inclination or slope as a surface stair. Rise divided by the span, usually expressed as 512 pitch roof, for example. Exactular or vertical, at relative to the horizon of the floor. Pearl member used to, to support a group of rafters at the midway point of the span of the rafters. 
a structural member that makes up the shape and structure of a roof. The type of hip, jack, valve, and cripple. And both the rafter and the purlin can be seen in the drawing on the structural part of stairs that support the racers and treads. Structural member typically used to frame walls. Final definitions a transom is a small, often hinged window above another window or door, as seen in the picture on the slide. Tread, or horizontal member of a stair, ending is a foundation replacement or reinforcement for furry brace supports. Friction on carpentry terms. Please follow website on the screen. Nine types of carpentry equipment. Start again in the safety and support section of the MEC study group. Many of equipment can be extremely dangerous if not properly. In this, we can several pieces that should only be used after extensive safety training is conducted, including table and miter saws. The blades through the surface of a table, which would support for material you would being cut. A miter saw, also known as a chop saw or drop saw, is a power used to make a quick, accurate cut in a workpiece at varying degrees precisely. Common including operates and the cut of molding. Most relatively small and portable, with common blades is ranging from 8 to 12 inches. Inches. A route to route out or hollow out an air face of a relatively hard workpiece, typically wood or plastic. A woodworking machine, which is to create boards that are of an even thickness throughout their length and flat on both surfaces. A jig used for cutting arbitrary curves, stencil designs, or other custom shapes into a piece of wood metal, or other material. And it is to apply heat when applying or removing laminate products. A chine, also referred to as a bo chalk box, is a tool for long lines on relatively flat surfaces, more than it is practical by hand or with a straight edge. Also shears are tools used to cheap metal and other tough webs. Two broad categories, tinners, which are similar to common scissors, and con action stamps, which use compound leverage handle system to increase the mechanical advantage. Some of the tools that you will want to be familiar with is the circular saw, the drill, the ring saw, accessories, pressers, and their associated parts, and the various types of nail guns. Along with our final section of our carpentry review in the MEC test preparation manual. Questions are pulled directly from the manual, and explanations have been provided to help better understand the concepts being reviewed in these questions. When you order to construct cabinets, A, determine dimensions, B, find who requested the job, C, find how urgent the job is, or D, all of the above. Here is the answer here. This question is typical of many questions on the exam and the fact that several of the questions could be answered, where they are asking for the best answer of the four. All of the tasks can be done first, so we have to choose one. Not the best answer because a mechanic needs to understand the scope of the job prior to having the conversation with the requester. Things and size will drive the schedule and only affect how urgent the job can be completed. So answer A is the best answer. Question number two. A, be impressed to any spill, B, be laminated, B, 
be suitable for the location, or D, not be made of wood. Here, locations have different needs. A is not the best answer because areas that need to be pleasing aesthetically may not need to be impervious, and that quality oftentimes will limit the types of finishes available. Answer is not appropriate for areas of high moisture or areas where spills will occur. Answer because wooden use in decorative countertop applications. include A, draw anchors and concrete inserts, B, screw nails and glue, C, adhesives and double face tape, or D, all of the above. Answer. Select answer to, and selecting the proper answer to an application. The best when assembling pre manufactured cabinets is a manufacturer's instructions, past experience, your supervisor's experience, or D1 errors assembly. A is the answer. Though past experience and supervisor's experience may come into play, answer is the best answer because every cabinet is different, and the manufacturer's instructions will clearly outline the proper assembly instructions needed to complete the job and see or important instructions. Provide a warranty when the item is installed properly and may be voided if the cabinets are installed incorrectly. Your cabinets to drywall is, is A. Toggle bolts B. And glue C. Fastener Answer. This question of choosing the best answer of the four provided in healthcare environment, best practice for a facility staff member should be to install cabinets directly into studs or use backing. Choice provided, answer is the best answer. Answer does not provide an adequate capacity for weight load. And could a fastener that is not adequate for the weight load, and D does not provide enough surface area to provide adequate weight load for the cabinets. Are and attached to a, the door, B, the trimmer, C, stop holding, and D, strike jam. The best for six is, is a power tool that cuts down the overall height of a wood door. Door molding is not appropriate and would not allow for a door to operate correctly. The strike jam is the Opposite of the door jam that allows for the door hardware to operate correctly. The staff member may have to cut out the mortise for the hinge location, and then the door is fitted properly to the opening because the jam is stationary, but the door is able to be adjusted. Shipboard level corners, caps, and doors look like B. For question number seven, D. That shim allows for setting underneath projects, whereas options A, B, and C are very difficult to get underneath projects. Number eight. Replace can be A, suspended, B, C tile, C, foam panels. Or e, A or B. D. Best answer. Both A and B are the best answers because they are most used with the T grid track system that the panels are removable. Testing. Low structured on 40 centers. 20 fingers, 
16 centers or 12 centers. Answer not providing the proper support for a load bearing wall. Answer B is sometimes an acceptable measurement for non load bearing walls. And answer D is sometimes an acceptable measurement for special construction. Answer C is the best answer here. Note that always check with your local and state codes to ensure you are using the proper code standards. Number 10. Raised over studs with the drill vertically or horizontally to the wall. And the next step would be to A, paint this primer, B, A, theme, C, mud and the surface smooth, or D, screw or glue the drive place. C is there because you want the drive to be secure or fall off the wall when you attempt to perform the actions and answers A, B, and C. Compton question two in the wall can best be matched by A B in the hole and patching with compound C, taping the hole and applying a surface coat or doing the hole with compound. Available to us in order to make sure that the repair is supported and does not fail. A can be used on much smaller holes, usually an inch or less. B does not provide the backing support needed to hold the surface coat and will likely cause the surface coat to crack. And used on smaller holes, usually an inch or less. Comp 12. Question 2. Are used to A, hold countertops from moving, B, hang objects, or C, scrub marks, or D, find centers. Answer because it's a center point for the top of the arch and the ends of the arch. Picture in the slide for a vis visual representation. Number 13. Question on is A, A, rabbit, B, D, C, T, D, spider. Best choice here, as shown in the picture on the slide. The text 14. Is cut with what type of blade? A, B, O, C, or Niter? B, Adel is shown on the slide. No things can be added or removed to make the data as wide as Compton. Two. Everything can be repaired with A, A, B, glue, S, or bolts. Here, because you are not going to be able to drive the fasteners answers A, B, or E into the creep. A door is hinge bound because A. The door is too close to the door. B. Hinges are not spaced properly. C. There is insufficient allowance between the door and the frame. D. Hinges set too deep. Answer choice here. In the picture on the screen, it's shown that the door hits the jam and hinges bound because the hinges are set too deep. deep. Team. Question 2. First, are called with the aid of A, 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 
template, B hammer, C plate, or the second person. C, e, C, and D all could be correct. Answer the best selection here for an answer because a template is required to meet the manufacturer's recommended specifications. Enclosure without a hammer, hardware plate, or a second person are all possible. Compton, question two. Here, are made out of three quarter inch material. What is the height of the bookshelf? 30 inches. B, four and a quarter inches. C, inches. Or D, 9 and 3 sixteenths inches. C answer. Thickness is included five times. Which you take 3 quarters of an inch divided by 5, which equals 3 and 3 quarters inches. Inches. That again, the and a quarter inches. Inch, and then the three inch height to total of four inches width and then a half inch width are ignored because they do not pertain to the question. Carpentry section of the mech 